So good evening. I'm Ian Cole. This is my son Adam. He's almost 12, but at that age, you say you're 12. And we're here to talk about making our communities. And this is a story about how we work together to make things and make our community better in the process. We're makers, and here are a few of the things we've made. Like, we took an old Goodwill helmet and put LEDs in it to make it blink for Halloween. And um, we plasma coated like 20 Christmas trees from aluminum and gave them out to our relatives. And we're also very active in scouts. Like, we taught gears, we thought about gears at the scout show with the Lego transmission. And there's my brother actually making an acrylic gear. And there's me and my scout troop at Disney Imagineering because my dad teaches the Inventing Merit Badge, which we were working on. And so Adam and I started building projects like this in roughly 2009. We were remodeling his room. And we were going for a spaceship theme. So we went to Skycraft and bought all this stuff, including this uh, joystick from an M1 Abrams tank. <laughs> bought a lot of electronics and started building and just had a lot of fun along the way. And so recently, we also built another project, uh, my son Drew and I, he's in the back, made from Ikea bowls, PVC pipe, some electronics. So it's actually a fully working drum set that plays MIDI commands through um, GarageBand on the iPad. <laughs> and very recently, we did my Inventing Merit Badge project, which is a slow motion replay system so that the parents can see the finish line. And, um... <laughs> When the cars cross the finish line, breaking the laser beam, it triggers a slow motion replay. <laughs> and so we take all these photos and video and we blog them on our website, RaisingGeeks.com. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't take that personal. We've actually been picked up recently by some national blogs such as Engadget, Hackaday, Make, etc. And if you go to our blog, you'll see that one of the projects we did last year, we made a 3D printer. And that's what's really cool about being a maker right now, is there's some awesome new tools that help you take the bits in your computer and turn them into atoms in real life. Things like 3D printers, laser cutters, CNC routers, and CNC mills. And most of the projects we make use an Arduino as an um, microcontroller, which, can, can, which is a cool, expandable computer you can use to control stuff like quadcopters, robots, things like soft circuits, and even 3D printers. And there's a similar tool that we also use. It's a programming language called Processing. You can see it at processing.org. And it's really designed for visual artists. And so you can see lots of sort of very visual pieces. But it also has a great webcam library. That's me playing around with some video at the top. And Adam's Pinewood Derby project, uh, he outsourced the code to me and Processing. And so we used his Arduino. And when it broke the laser beam, it actually did the slow motion replay. But what if you don't have these tools or have this knowledge? Well, that's where hackerspaces come in. And hackerspaces are community-operated physical places where people can meet and work on their projects. And we're very fortunate in Orlando, we actually have a hackerspace, it's called Familab. We've got a few people here. Uh, it's family and lab put together. We've got a 4,000 square foot workshop. We teach classes on soldering Arduino. And our mission is a, to be a community that fosters learning and creativity through hands-on projects, collaboration, and sharing of skills and tools to improve both ourselves and the world around us. And we also do get out of the lab once in a while. Uh, so we ran an event last year at the History Center. Uh, we had all these great retro arcade games, all the fun stuff. But we also built a recreation of one of the first video games, the 1958 uh, Tennis for Two, that actually played on an oscilloscope. So here's all these really cool old games, and people are playing this little thing that we built on an oscilloscope all day. It was a lot of fun. And we also have a club for kids called Young Makers, where we get together and build really cool stuff. Like, we learned to solder by making flashlight kits that Radio Shack gave us, and now we're making projects for Maker Faire. Maker Faire is like the biggest and coolest science fair and county fair you've ever been to. People present things like motorized vehicles, robots, crafts, and even Tesla coils. So Adam and I went to Maker Faire Bay Area in California last year, this is uh, early 2011, and we walked around and saw all this for the first year, and he looks at me at one point and he says, you know what I figured out, Dad? I said, what, buddy? 
He says, ordinary people can make cool things. I thought, what a great thing to learn at 11, right? And if you just put your mind to it, people like he and I can just go do this stuff. And so the second day, we sat in on this panel. It was a lot like this, people in the audience, and it was the people who put on Maker Fair. And they asked if anybody had any comments. And Adam grabs a microphone in his best big boy voice. He says, as a kid, I find this all very inspiring. <laughs> He's the only kid in the room, mind you. <laughs> so we talked about it. We said, well, this is great, but we had to go all the way to California for this. And so we're very proud to announce that we've talked to the people at Make Magazine, and we're going to bring this here to Orlando. And so on May 26th of this year, we're going to bring this I only got 20 seconds here. So there's the website. So people ask, why do we do all this stuff, right? Go see my wife. Um, and so our, you know, our thing is, we have a lot of fun, and we learn by making. And then we share the knowledge that we get, and we share tools, and we share parts. And that inspires other people to make too, and it inspires ourselves again. And that's how we go from making things to making our community. And our challenge to you is to go make something and make your community better in the process. Thank you.